Brian. Yeah. We just watched the Out and About movie starring uh, <laughs> what movie? Okay. And his buddy Gabe. What did you think? <laughs> On one of my favorite movies. <laughs> On YouTube. Do you want to describe what the, the movie is about? Like, give your best description of this film. <laughs> it feels like a bunch of elementary school friends <laughs> went on a trip. And they walked around. <laughs> and they walked around. For two fucking hours. hours. Some of them made gay jokes with each other. One of them got naked. I think they all make gay jokes with each they other. They do. But then one of them got naked. <laughs> And then the other one, like, then you find out that one of the friends is not like the other friend in the friend group. Mm -hmm. And then they just leave. <laughs> That's the whole movie. And the whole and, movie is... And they set up this, they set up the beginning in like a weird kind of 80s homage style of like, oh, Brandy, you gotta get up. It's the out and about yeah, movie. Yeah, they're, and, they're, then, they're, and then they see them brushing their teeth and everything. How does this movie end? How does this movie end? How does this movie end? It just ends with them narrating vlog style in the airport being like, hey guys, we just finished uh, getting home. All right, movie's we're, over now. Movie, oh, movie's over. <laughs> they said the movie's over. They went through the whole beginning of like, oh, it's... Oh, it's one of the get ready for the How and About movie. Oh, it's one of the few movies I've ever seen in my life where it tells you, okay, it's over. <laughs> like I'm oh, like maybe like the Ferris Ferris Bueller's Day Off, but that's like a joke. In this movie, it's like it's a genuine like. All right, plot. In case you didn't know, by the timestamp of the movie and the credits rolling, the movie is over now. I, I should. I'm, I'm lost. I can't come up with jokes right now. What I love about the out and about. Oh, just yeah. What I love about this is a terrible angle, but hey, we're working with it. What I love about the out and about movie is that it defies every. Like, <laughs> you know when you watch like a um who's a uh, Neil Breen. You yeah. know when you watch like a Neil Breen movie and it like defies every law of filmmaking, <laughs> but like there is still a semblance of what somebody assumes a movie would be in there. <laughs> like Neil Breen still is trying to make a movie. Uh -huh. Like he's still trying to create a story with weird characters, but still characters and yeah. tell stuff. There is nothing in the out and about movie. There's no story. <laughs> There's no plots. Okay. It's it's just three dudes walk what? around Las Vegas for two when hours. When you tell me. When I fucking some, love okay, it. Wait, I love well, it so When much. you tell me that somebody is vlogging something, it's because they're, they're wanting to see, like, wanting to show you something special about their journey, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? There's something of note. Yeah. And here, the main the main attraction, the gimmick, is Las Vegas. Yeah. You're saying, cool what sighting. Did, what did they show in Las Vegas in yeah. that middle chunk of the movie? My favorite part... Of them going to Vegas is the part where they show nothing off about Vegas. They, there's no, like, it's not nothing like... Nothing until the final day when one of the main three characters leaves the movie. But what, what's weird is that, like, they go to a few locations. They go to, like, an arcade. Yes. They go to M&M World. Uh-huh. Where else did they go? I, those are the two that I remember at the top. The, the Coke Museum thing? The Coke Museum thing. Yes. Which, like, yeah, those are fun and all. But, like, those are, like... <laughs> Like, it's, it's like, okay, cool. Why are you saving this for the third act? Like, I know, I know obviously, when oh. they say out and about the movie, it's just a long vlog. I understand that. But why are you calling it? Why do you set it up with why this, this weird, weird semblance of a plot? Like a skit at the beginning? I guess, I know it's to be funny and just to make himself laugh and make his buddies laugh. But, like, I don't... It's such a strange... It, it almost like... Some of the character, as, characters... Like, <laughs> some of the relationships between them... Almost... Because I told you when we started... Because this you had never seen this movie before. Yeah. I, I've seen this movie maybe three or four times. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen this movie a few times. You would stand the nothingness for that amount of time? Like, I, not like in one go. Like, I'll have it on in the background, you okay. know? Yeah, yeah. Not, like, I'm not, like, dedicated okay. watching... But I've seen it a few times, and, like, the relationship with, like, Gabe and Sean in this movie, like, it just slowly breaks down. Almost, like, it's almost too well planned until the climax of this film, I would argue, is when they're arguing at the cab. It's like Midsummer. <laughs> yeah! Yeah, it's very Midsummer-esque, almost. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> like, he, get, uh, Sean is uh, Florence Pugh's character, and... Gabe is Christian. Gabe is Christian. Who is Wet Movie, you think? Is Wet Movie like the nice Swedish guy? That no, no, her? wait. 
I think he's the nice Swedish guy that brings them all together to the place. Because this feels like a wet movie, like ploy, not ploy, but like ploy. Like, like he's thing. the main driving force. Like yeah, he's the MacGuffin. He's the MacGuffin. Yeah, I feel like he's like. Also, like, in that moment, he's even trying to break them up a little bit from fighting. He does, like, this weird thing where he's like, oh, don't fight. There's, like, a rope here or something. Like, it's, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, I'm blowing your mind with my out and about movie theories. The comments on this movie are some of the funniest I've ever seen in my entire life. But yet you wanted to change the theory that there's some kind of, like gay repression with sean at all yeah, yeah it's weird like there, there's like this weird subplot these are real things happening but it's it's i think every single man, man we see in this movie are it's like three quarters gay <laughs> i think they're all like 70 to 75 percent gay here's the thing the comments made there's a 69ing point. in this movie like there's just full-on <laughs> men 69ing in this and there's like nudity there's there's more nudity in this than i expect there to be in in pornographic films at points true but here's here what, what i want to add about the sean the cool duder gay allegation is that there's a good point when the escorts come up yes yes he Sean's, is hesitant he is at very all. oh hey honey uh -huh. she is very hesitant to even like acknowledge the existence of that escorts card mm -hmm. and so then, and then there is the um what was it the rejection of the gay jokes i yeah. mean granted that could be because Sean does not like game at that point. Yeah, yeah. But there is also like, he's really resistant to making those. But Sean things. is Sean is like grabbing nips. He's grabbing dick. He's grabbing ass too. Like it's weird. He's, he's masking. He's trying to fit in. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. I I love wet movie videos and every wet movie video. I feel like he's really good at capturing just like the best five to ten minutes of weirdness in his adventures and then posting it but this movie feels like what every wet movie video might actually be like when he's filming it which is just dudes walking around just dudes milling about and just, just going just doing whatever it's just a bunch of type b people just, <laughs> just on a trip they're like browsing las vegas this entire movie is window shopping all of the fun stuff they could <laughs> be doing. Shopping. Like, they're like, oh, we could go gambling, and then none of them gamble. None of them. They're like, oh, we could go to a show, and they never go. We could go to a buffet, and they go to, like, one buffet. They don't go anywhere <laughs> nice. There's no... I understand Vegas is the type of place where you can just go with no plan and have fun. However, you have to seek out stuff to do. You know what? <laughs> I'm, I'm, like, I'm talking all this crap, and I'm, like, making... And I'm, you're actually a Las Vegas native. I'm a, I'm a Las Vegas so native. So you do have some people to hate on you back then. <laughs> <laughs> But me, I'm never going to visit that place. Whenever I go to California, I'm going to bypass the other state. I'm going to bypass all, Nevada. You're going to go all the way around. Sorry, Neil Breen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Imagine if they meet up Neil Breen in this movie. <laughs> Dude, that would be the crossover of the fucking century. I, I know I'm aiming. I love wet movies videos. I genuinely do because he's undeniably good at finding the weirdest strangest stuff you can find out in public and then making it into a video and i love that and i love how uh, weird and strange and cringy his videos are and i think he he gets that right i think right? so a little. <laughs> like I a little. sometimes i'm worried he doesn't but i think 85 percent of the time he does i hope and I feel like this movie, he kind of gets it most of the time what he's doing. Mm -hmm. I think uh, it's, it, you know, when you watch The Room and Tommy Wiseau, I, I don't think Tommy Wiseau gets why The Room is funny. Mm -hmm. I don't know if Brendan knows why his videos are funny, <laughs> but he thinks he knows why. He's just running out the success from the Yeah, comments. he's just, he's like, whatever, people are watching, so it doesn't matter. I don't think Tommy Wiseau knows why they're funny, and he doesn't pretend to know why they're funny. Okay. Brendan thinks he knows why they're funny. But we know why they're funny. <laughs> it's a very complicated relationship between viewer and creator, I think. Um, I, I could make like a Lindsay Ellis-esque video essay on what movie won. And his like circle and his like cavalcade of friends. This is that introduction to that video. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> well... We'll see Fine, I'll Fine. make, it. I'll make it. We'll make a video on it. <laughs> Just like a four-hour documentary on this man. <laughs> We'll see you in the sequel. <laughs> out and about movie two review. <laughs> no, out and about two review. <laughs> movie. Out and two about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> two out and two about. <laughs>
to our devour. <laughs> Dude, if that was the sequel name of this movie, I buy it. out in two hours. <laughs> <laughs> Three guys, one out and a <laughs> Three guys, two cameras, one out and a <laughs> This is the worst fucking movie I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> no, no, but it's it's better than the worst movie I've ever seen in my life. But it's still worse than the worst movie I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> this doesn't qualify as a movie. There's no movie here. I, it's... Want, I want David Lynch to see this movie. <laughs> Dude, this feels like a David Lynch movie in some ways. Oh, that's a Swiffer ad. This movie feels like a David Lynch movie in some ways. Like, it's it's esoteric almost, and it's non-sequential. There's stuff happening that doesn't quite make sense. I it's got was, imagery that doesn't add up, really. I thought that was just a Quentin Tarantino movie. <laughs> how dare you? I haven't seen a Quentin yeah, Tarantino movie. How dare you? I've only seen the first 10 minutes of Reservoir Dogs. These guys feel like characters... Like, I... Like... I can write it down about play. Oh, dude. Oh! Dude! <laughs> I, I would love to write an out about like theater play. <laughs> no, you if you said these are based on real people, everyone would be like, "Come on!" And you're like, "No, guys, I have a movie for you." You're right. Here's I a need you to just cut the best, just do the best of video, and just send it to everybody without context. What's um, what's your favorite quote in this movie? There are some absolute <laughs> bangers. Um. <laughs> Fat people gotta get up with regular people, too. <laughs> Fat people gotta get up with people, and regular people do, and all of that. And all of that. <laughs> and all of that. <laughs> Las Vegas ain't for gambling. Yeah, like, it's, it's for regular hard. stuff, too. Dude, anything Gabe says is my favorite part of this movie. He's the funniest human being to ever live on the planet. I love Gabe so much. He's so fucking funny. Wait, he's like a he's no. Like a, I got the best one, and I'm sorry, but I did not say these words. Oh yeah, I I know the one you're going. Can I say it, <laughs> Gabe? Gabe, what's wrong, man? Come on, spill your guts. You're acting like you were raped or something. <laughs> it's bad. No, you look like you've been raped, which is worse. Cause all he does is just look sad. Next time, you, next time you see somebody sad, you never know if they've been raped. <laughs> what if Gabe had said, I have? <laughs> the weirdest part of this movie is when Gabe is just hanging out by the pool. And he's just like, I've been kicked out of the hotel room. <laughs> like, did they not give you a key or something? Like, what happened? No one gave. They probably didn't give him a key. I love he was sleeping on the little bed beside. The little cot. What it's called. I, I, I don't know. I think I love the idea that he's sitting by the pool and someone's just going for like, all right, morning. So I'm going to get some exercise in and start the day bright. And they just see some five foot ones just yelling at his 2003 <laughs> camera about how he's not being allowed to like sexually assault his best friends. It's basically Gabe's complaint is my friends won't let me go in there and sexually assault them. It's ridiculous. I love it. I love every second of game in this movie. I would, if this was purchasable, I would purchase this film. And where? Whatever. DVD, Blu-ray, whatever. Okay. Anything I could get it on. Whatever I could get it on. I would recommend this movie to everybody. (laughs) I can't recommend it to gay people. I I can't recommend it to Las Vegas. (laughs) Well, that still leaves a good portion of the population. I don't think Las Vegas is proud of this movie. You you think about the tourist attractions. Think about if this movie okay. highlighted any good tourist think attractions. Think about, okay, okay. Here, okay. White movie's actually kind of smart. Okay. How's Most it? Vegas movies 
They go to all the highlights. They go to all the str- they go to all the casinos, mm-hmm. the the shows, mm-hmm. the big spots. Yeah. This movie, instead of highlighting the things that people are already going to, yeah. they highlighted the places you're not going to go to, like <laughs> the, like the stairs <laughs> and the sidewalk. There is like a three minute scene in this movie where they just walk <laughs> on the stairs and they're just a bit confused. And get or Brendan. Decided that should be in the movie. That scene where we're just confused by the sign that says exit should be in the movie. What he? I want to know what he left out. <laughs> I am desperate to know what is the content Brendan film where he's like, nah. Well, Gabe's sexually assaulting people. <laughs> but like, what else is left? Because like, they film everything, and everything they film is boring. Oh, I no, I think, hear me out, the only reason they deleted this footage or cut it from the film is because as boring as lives as they portray themselves in this film, they do not want to at all assassinate that persona they created. What happened to the last video we saw with what movie one calling him to like virtual screen recording means and like he they just screen recorded this terrible conversation where Gabe gets drunk and harasses kids at a kung fu band of four screaming. <laughs> dude, that video is the funny dude. Imagine you're in the back row of Kung Fu Band of Four and you just see Gabe in the front getting kicked out for being a drunken asshole. <laughs> this, he has to show I'm this the, the same dude. I've who been... bought who bought the Salvation <laughs> Army tie code just to join the pyramid scheme and made his best friend go in a shirt and, and <laughs> sweater, a stained, threaded <laughs> sweater. I think it was white Brown shoes with black pants. I I can't get over that part. Like, no hate if you can only buy your Salvation Army suit. Lots of people do that. It's yeah. what you gotta do. Yeah. But it's the fact that Gabe has presumably had that suit for months now. Because he's been going to this place for months. And his and it still doesn't match. None of it goes together. He's got, like, a, a woman's and his sports best, jacket. And his best friend is roasting him. The in- it's right the- in front of him. <laughs> Dude, okay, so it's, it's the funniest. It's so funny, because, like... The camera, like, what movie, like, Brendan would be doing this? Like, I don't think Gabe is smart enough to be doing something like this. And he's just not, he's stupid. He's just like a big dumb idiot. And Gabe isn't cut out for being successful in life. And then he'll come back around and Gabe's right there. Um, yeah, I mean, if it's not for you, man, and all that. <laughs> Your Gabe impression is just Tommy Wiseau a little bit drunk. <laughs> And I think that's right on. Well, I think that's just Gabe in general. Dude, you gotta put Gabe and Tommy Wiseau in a room. Oh, I just would... put him in a room with a bottle of whiskey. Oh, I totally want Gabe to play the next Denny character. Oh my god, dude, I would totally pay that. I would pay. They both already eat the same en- short, short king energy, being a little naive about the world. Yeah, they probably he probably has drug money. <laughs> He'll probably say that the drugs are coming in five minutes. Then he'll say he's in love. He's in love with Lisa. <laughs> Wait, was Denny the one? No, it was Mark the one who kissed uh, Tommy's forehead. <laughs> but yeah, I. What else is there? I love, I love the wet movie verse. Um, on my life all, is good, man. All my fans hate Cool Dude. Like I, I don't fuck with Cool Dude anymore. Is it cool? Like he's so lame in this movie. No. It, like, I understand he's, he can be a little uptight. Maybe he's uncomfortable with some situations. I get that. But, dude, you're in Vegas. You're going to see some ladies of the night. You're going to say some inappropriate. I get the whole constant three-day-long sexual harassment escapade that you have been through might have pushed you over the edge. But, but it, I don't know. It, it just seemed like they went there with no plan. And it just seemed like Cool Dude was okay with not have, not doing anything. But that... Thing. That's just bad because it's just bad trip planning. You can't what, plan like, three people who don't know what they're doing. <laughs> it's 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 the like they're young guys and they're like, all right, let's go to Vegas and not do anything. Nothing. I I have asked. It's like it's like this video right now. Where are we going with any of this? Nowhere. But, but, here, we're, but we're just here's the difference. Here's the difference. I didn't fly to fucking Vegas. <laughs> To film nothing. 
I sat on my couch. You sat on my couch because other people did that. You voice. you could have replicated this entire movie with 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 a, with a sidewalk outside your house. You could have just walked in a circle for two hours and sexually harassed each other and ran into a dude on the sidewalk. And you would have had the exact... They could have just gone to L... They went to L.A. to fly out of Vegas. They could have just gone to L.A. And replicated the entire... Why did they go to Vegas? Well, they could go home. And for what I guess... They, they went were... home. They went home. No, well, they were big. <laughs> <laughs> so they couldn't go home. <laughs> I don't condone this. I don't condone this at all. You can't, like, you can't act like this is not making you laugh at I'm laughing, yeah. It's funny, so. <laughs> God. Wait, well, that fits the logic. They went big, so they couldn't go home. <laughs> God, 10 out of 10 movie, man. I, I really do love it, and I hope that movie makes a third one. There's a second film where they go back to Vegas. Back to Vegas. <laughs> and they do the exact same thing again. They do it again? <laughs> yes. It wasn't, like, any kind of, like, <laughs> no. It's and just, how many years was this after the original? Like eight. <laughs> Wait, eight fucking years. <laughs> they bring like five dudes or something at a time. Watch out, boyhood. <laughs> Dude, it's the same fucking movie, except there's five of them instead. And I think Gabe, I legit, there's like a whole subplot with Gabe is supposed, and like they actually try to script in like a subplot where Gabe is on drugs or something. What? Or dealing drugs. It's kind of like the room where it's not clear what are these drugs about. Is there a love interest? Kinda, yeah. Gabe keeps trying to pull ladies and it doesn't really work okay. for him. But and is it still a sausage fest? Yeah, it's always, it's always a sausage fest. Diversity? Other than just the short Mexican? Uh, I think. I, 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 it's, it's short, short Mexican. Yeah, short Mexican. Um, actually, in this, I kind of look shorter than you. Because of how I'm kind of like, I'm like, I'm like sinking into my couch. But yeah, it's, I think it's that first. I can't remember that much. I, I was drunk when I watched the second movie. I've only seen it once. I was really just like, I think it was like a live premiere on YouTube. And I was like, dude, was. dude I'm so excited. Why? And I was home that night and I was like. I'm going for it. Let's just get oh some, let's get some drinks, bros, by myself. And <laughs> I watch that shit, dude. Okay, well, now you have to watch the second one. Sometime. Second one, baby. <laughs> second, two. 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 <laughs> I'm so tired.